Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. Today I have something very exciting to share with you guys. I have been using rice water on my face for an entire month and the results are amazing. I was a little bit skeptical at first but it seems that this little experiment worked out just fine. Before we get into the video my channel is all about beauty, home and lifestyle. So if that sounds like content you'll be interested in, please support my channel by subscribing. Let's continue on with the video. During this experiment, I used rice water in two ways. As a replacement for water when I'm cleansing my face and a toner before I continued on with my skin routine. To make this rice water, I used one cup of rice and water. So this is extremely easy to make, especially because all of us more or less have rice at home and water. So you don't even need to head off to the shops to try it. It's also very inexpensive. So before we go ahead and make our rice water, we need to wash it. I used two half cups of rice, which is just one cup, and washed it thoroughly. I washed it about four times to make sure that it was clean. On the fourth wash I drained out all the water and then I just added five cups of water to the bowl. You can use tap water, it's completely fine but I decided to use bottled water. After washing the rice this is what it looked like. You want to make sure that the water is clear and no longer cloudy. Then I covered it up and left it to sit for about an hour. This is the fermentation process. You can definitely let it ferment for a lot longer. Fermented rice water has a lot more benefits than just normal rice water. After an hour, I removed the tea towel and then strained it into a jar. And this jar will last me a day. If I'm washing my face with it, I'll use it once in the morning and once in the afternoon, so I'll just half it. And for the toner, I'll do the same thing. I'm using the same rice water and then just straining it into a spray bottle. I will leave a link to the spray bottle and the jars down below, just in case you wanted to try it for yourself. Next, I just pop it in the fridge and this stops the fermentation process. And you're probably wondering why I prefer to use just regular rice water rather than fermented. And this is because fermented rice water can smell pretty strong but it all depends on you and how you like to use it i personally don't think i could stomach the smell so in the morning and the evening i use it twice i use half the jar in the morning and half in the evenings i usually just tie up my hair put a headband on so that my edges don't end up all puffy and then i go ahead and cleanse the cleanser that i'm using here is all clean balm by hamish this is one of my favorite cleansers. It's very hydrating and it's also really good at getting rid of buildup on your face from the sunscreen and moisturizer that you've put on throughout the day. I usually double cleanse and then I grab my rice water. This has been in the fridge so it is freezing cold and you'll be able to see my face throughout the clip and I literally just pour it on my face and rinse away all the leftover cleanser. I normally wash my face with warm water so it was really nice to feel the cold water on my skin. I don't really know the benefits benefits of cold water but a lot of people say it's good for you and has a lot of good benefits for your skin. Once I rinse off all the cleanser I just pat my face dry and that is literally it. It's very quick easy and simple and affordable. The second way that I use it is in a spray bottle. This is also just freshly come out of the fridge. I spray it on my face before I continue on with my skin routine. It's very cooling and feels so nice on the skin. So this is the result from 
day one you can see how dry and flaky my chin area is this is day 30 my skin looks a lot brighter hydrated and a lot less dry and flaky i'm definitely going to continue on using rice water i feel like it can be a little bit wasteful using it every single day as a face wash in replacement for water but i'm definitely going to continue using it as a toner to help maintain these results would you add rice water to your skin regimen let me know in the comments down below and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next video bye